Here we are with another alumni spotlight today. I am with Josh Grimaldi, a veteran, a graduate, an alumni, and let's start with the uh, the best news of the day. Um, a guy who just accepted his first software development offer. Let's start at the end. What kind of job did you get? What are you going to be doing? Um, I'll be working uh, with Clarion, which is a um, proprietary software, so there's not much documentation on it. But um, the reason they hired me is they're going to be moving to uh, .NET here shortly. So I'll kind of be the go-to guy with the company. Awesome. You excited? I'm very excited. Yeah, a little nervous, but very excited. Good. Well, if you're not nervous, it's not important to you. So that's a good thing. Okay, let's start here. What sort of experience did you bring into the camp? And where are you now? Um, before Deb Co Camp, I worked uh, very hands-on physical jobs. I was in the Marine Corps from 2008 to 2013. Um, after that, I drove as a long-haul truck driver uh, for a couple of years, sort of exploring the country. Um, after that, it was railroad, ranch work, all that. Um, I kind of went to De Deb Co Camp because I wanted to show my children that you can make a living with your mind instead of your hands. Good idea. Good idea. So you are a veteran. Thank you very much for your service serving in the Marines. Uh, we love veterans in our camp because we know what sort of work ethic they bring. So you had an opportunity to be able to utilize your GI Bill. You could have gone anywhere. Why did you choose Dev Code Camp? They were the best. Uh, I went on Google. I checked out the reviews. I'm big on checking out reviews and seeing what other students have to say. I talked to other students. I really did my research and Dev Co Camp was the best of the best. And here you are today, uh, another success story. You joined the hundreds and hundreds of others. Walk me through what your experience was like um, going from this totally different world, uh, although it'd be hard work, it's physical labor. This is more of a mental challenge. What was the instructional team like? What was the online learning environment like? Give me a walk through that. Yeah, the instructors were absolutely wonderful. The staff in general at Dev Co Camp were, was absolutely wonderful. Um, the instructors are, are they're a special breed of person. Uh, they stuck by your side uh, the entire time through the ups and downs, whether you have a technical question, uh, a question about code you're writing, or if you just want emotional support, or like I did several times throughout the course, they're, they're always in your corner, absolutely wonderful. Um, as far as online learning, I, uh, Took a little, some classes for, for college with online and it was nothing like Deb Co Camp. You were kind of on that island by yourself um, to do your assignments, send them in. You never really heard from anyone. I didn't learn too much. Um, so with Deb Co Camp, I was a little bit nervous about the online learning, um, but it was different than anything I've ever experienced. You had the support, whether it was in Slack or Zoom for anyone right away. I mean, nights, weekends, they're always there to answer your question. Um, you're always part of a team and you're always important. So that was uh, definitely important uh, to me. Um, you're, you're in the bullpen, in the excitement all the time, whether you're just, uh, it's a day full of just lectures or you're collaborating on a team or my personal favorite, uh, running solo, playing a little lo-fi music and just writing awesome code. I know uh, you and Charles formed a, a pretty special relationship, Charles being one of our lead instructors. Uh, and I think that a lot of that has to do with uh, both of you being veterans. I think there's just that bond that, that immediately forms. Um, it sounds like you guys uh, work together quite a bit. Yeah, Charles was excellent. He was a, a former Marine. Um, there was a couple of former Marines working uh, for Dev Co Camp, but um, he was absolutely wonderful. He was my senior dev. Uh, with me the entire way, um, always willing and able to answer my questions, uh, if they, you know, about about anything. Um, definitely guided me into uh, pursuing a career and, and and getting me ready for interviews and things like that. But I owe a lot to Charles. Well, you did all the work. Thank you very much for putting in the work, making it happen. We can't do this alone. It is a combination of the right student and the right instructional staff. And we definitely found the right student um, in, in you. So now that, now that you are a software engineer, what do you tell your kids? What do I tell my kids? I what, guess are they, I... what, are they, what do they, what do they think about this? Are they old enough to understand? 
Yeah, um, I think a little bit. They see instead of dad being gone for 12 hours a day, they see dad, uh, you know, home, happy, working in his home office. So I get to definitely incorporate more of the family life into uh, my day to day. Uh, they're uh, all around happy with it. Awesome. So as somebody who's experienced it, somebody comes up to you and asks, hey, should I do this? Especially when it comes to uh, veterans such as yourself. What do you tell them? Um, first of all, veterans, you are worth it. You can do this. I went into this not thinking that it was going to be for me or I'd be able to do this. And I was blown away with the amount I learned. And sitting here today, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm setting up my home office for a remote software develop job. I would say um, use the GI Bill. It's extremely easy. It's going to go away anyway. Um, and even if you go through this, you're not sure if you want a career in code. Code is the future. So it's definitely something that you, you know, want to learn and you want to do. So you were in the full-time camp. Yes, sir. I started in the part-time course. Um, I was a little nervous with going in, uh, you know, full-time, eight hours a day, you know, plus nights and weekends working in something I've never done before, something mysterious and scary like code. Um, during the part-time course, I noticed on all my, all the spare time I had, you know, nights, weekends, and during the day, I was coding, coding, coding. I was falling in love with it. Um, so I switched to that full-time course, and I'm definitely glad I'm dead. Awesome. And now you're ready to jump back into the part-time course and wrap that baby up. Yeah, I'll be starting the uh, part-time course here sh uh, shortly. There's different technologies that are taught at different courses, as you know. Um, so I'm definitely excited to learn the Mern stack and, and a couple of the front-end technologies. You're the best. Thank you for your service. Thank you for being a great student. And uh, congratulations, man. It's a great story. Thank you. I appreciate it.